Greetings, everybody. This is Dave Matuzic from MacDAC Engineering, and I have another tech tip for you, and this one's going to deal with subprograms. I have on my screen here a part that has 16 identical pockets in it. So what I did is I programmed one of those pockets and then transformed it to make the other pockets. So I have this one transform operation that cuts all 16 pockets. And if I were just to post this out here, I'd end up with a very long program. So you can see here that I have a single long program to cut all 16 of those pockets. And the file size of that is listed down here at the bottom. And it's 791 kilobytes, 791.45 kilobytes. So that's the longest program. And I also have here 26,225 lines of G-code. So that's how that broke down there. That's a long program. and It's kind of a large program if I have an older machine that doesn't have a lot of memory or I just want to save some memory in my machine. So what I can come in here and do is go to the parameters here and turn on subprogram and by default it's going to set itself to incremental. And I'll explain the difference between absolute and incremental in a moment here. So I'm going to just change that and I'll hit my G1 button. And now you'll see that my program looks different. First thing here, let's come down here and look at the size of the program. It's now 48.78 kilobytes. So that's significantly smaller than 791.45 kilobytes. It's also 1,770 lines of code, not the 26,000 lines of G code it was before. What's going on here? Well, if you notice, I'm over here and I'm calling up subprograms. So I Go to my original position, call up a sub, move over, call up a sub, move over, call up a sub. And I do that 16 times for program one. I'll do that 16 times for program two, and I have a program three in there. I'll do that 16 times for program three. Now, what's going on? Well, if I go here to a little further in my program, there's program three down here at the bottom. So it's going to come and call up that tool, call up that offset, and cut that program. Same with program two, and same with program one. So I put subprograms inside my G code. So it's going to read ahead, find that subprogram, go cut that subprogram, go back, call up the move over, call up the next program, and do that as many times as I programmed it to do so for as many tools as I have. So that's an incremental subprogram. Now in Mastercam, an absolute subprogram is a little bit different. I'm going to go turn on absolute here. And it looks the same. Let's post it out and look at the difference. A couple things I want you to notice right away. First thing you'll notice in the program is I'm still calling up subprograms, calling up a lot more of them, program one. So, so instead of having 16 program ones, I'm calling up program one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, through 16, then calling up 17. So I'm calling up a lot more subprograms. And my file size actually gets slightly bigger, very slightly bigger than the original. It's 794.5. And I get slightly more lines of code. I get another couple hundred lines of code. Well, what, what happened here? Well, before, it was moving over to a position and calling up program one again. Moving over to position, calling up program one again, did that 16 times. Then it did that again for program two, 16 times. What I have now that's different is I have every place a subprogram was called up, I have a whole other program in here. So program one, program two, program three. So I'm calling up each pocket as its own program rather than repeating the same program over and over and over again uh, with the same values. So that's the difference between absolute and incremental. Uh, one advantage of using an absolute program, let's say I'm cutting something and I'm worried about tool breakage, if I break in pocket 8, I can just go into my control and call up uh, program 8 and just run that program over again. If I call it the right number. There we go. So I can just come in and run that subprogram again. 
So that's one reason why you might want to do that. Uh, but I would probably not tell you that you don't want to do that if you're trying to reduce the size in your program. But that is what an incremental uh, versus absolute subprogram do and how they relate to each other. Now, there's another place for subprograms in MasterCam that I'd say a lot of people don't know about, may not have even noticed the button. And let me show you what I'm talking about here. Save this. I'm going to open up another file. I have a program here with a very deep pocket. It's a big five inch deep pocket and I'm going to cut it with a one inch insert mill. And because I'm doing that, my insert mill in this case only has about a quarter inch that it can go down per pass. Otherwise I run out of insert. So what I'm actually going to do here is put in depth cuts, obviously, right? So I'm taking a whole bunch of quarter inch depth cuts and maybe I want to back off just a little bit. So a little 200 thou depth cuts. Problem now is this. I'm going to have a very long program to cut that simple shape because I had to take a lot of depths of cut before I got down five inches, right? And we can see here that that took uh, 417K to get that far deep in 14,443 lines of code. It's a lot of G code to get that deep. So here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to go into my parameters and I have a subprogram button under my depth cuts. Under depth cuts, I have subprogram. I'll leave that on incremental and I'll regenerate that. And now at every depth of cut, I'm going to have a subprogram. So I'm just going to post this out over here. And we'll run through that posting again. And now instead of having that longer program, I have a program here that has 684 lines of code. So that's significantly less. And I'm 18.26 kilobytes, which is significantly smaller file size, right, than we had before. And you can see here I'm pulling up a subprogram for each and every depth of cut. And then I have one program here at the end that is my toolpath to cut that area out using my dynamic toolpath. So I was able to reduce the size of my file significantly by using subprograms. And again, another advantage here that I've, I've run into before personally is I'm halfway through cutting that deep pocket. Maybe I got to change an insert. I can come down and pull up my subprogram at a position where I might want to call that up. Or I could use absolute subprograms to do that if, if I wanted to and just run from that point forward. So that's a, a quick little tip there for using some subprograms inside of Mastercam. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.